And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part two of our expedition. We just got to six wins. We didn't get that seven win. So we're going to be playing one more, try to get that seven win. After this, we'll, uh, you know, get our uh, rewards and everything. We'll see what we got and what, what kind of decks we can build. We're going to try building some competitive decks and playing some uh, ranked for the rest of the stream today. Uh, you may see I'm, I'm standing up here. We got the brand new desk. We got the stand up desk. So I'm gonna, you know, stand up for a little while, um, but I'm ready to go. Let's let's tr see if we can uh, get a seven win trial here. So expedition number two. So we got Timo, Karma, or Ash. Uh, expedition two. I'm pretty sure we went. I'm pretty sure we went uh, seven wins whenever we did Ash before. Ash is definitely very strong. You know, we get the, the frostbite theme. And then we have harsh winds where we frostbite two enemies and stalking wolves very strong too. Like that's these these are just that's just a really strong pile. Karma goes with Jeweled Protector and Navori Conspirator, which are not really cards that work that great with Karma. But Karma's pretty good and Ionia's good. And then of course Teemo. Teemo's just a lot of fun. Plaza Garmian, reduce my Cost by one for each spell you've cast this game. And Mystic Shot. Teemo is, of course, pretty fun. I think I think this is probably the strongest thing, though, is is go Ash and uh, just go with the, the Frostbite theme, especially for how well these two cards work with Ash. Yeah, Plaza Guardian is good with Teemo. That is true, because you do cast a lot of spells with Teemo in Teemo decks. And Mystic Shot, of course, is pretty powerful, too. So that is a good bucket, too. These are these are good buckets. But yeah, Harsh Winds is awesome. So I'm going to go with this Frozen Solid. I guess we should check to see what, what y'all are voting on. First, but I think I want to go with the Frozen Solid. Okay, yeah. It has the most votes, also. All right, up next. Oh, I don't really like any of these. Hmm. Well, I, I think I know which one we're going to go with. But all right, so we got we can go Karma again and then get our Jewel Protector and Inspiring Mentor. Or we go Ezreal. Um, counterfeit Copies. And Funsmith. All of your spells and skills deal one extra damage. So kind of go more of like a, a spell-based thing, target the enemy a bunch. I guess Ezreal does work well with if we're frostbiting the enemy. That is targeting the enemy. If we level up Ezreal. We get, you know, these mystic shots. I guess that that could that could work well together. I was thinking going Darius, though, for just, like, the power of, like, the big creatures to go with the Frost stuff. Like, I think that that, that fits pretty well together. So I was thinking Darius. Um, yeah, the, the counterfeit copies is, like, a dead card. Like, that card's not any good. And Funsmith even isn't really that great either, honestly. It's... Yeah, it's really not even that good either. So it's like Ezreal's a cool card, but like these two cards aren't very good. Darius is very good, and Minotaur Reckoner is awesome, and Arachnoid Sentry is a very good card too. Like these are just three solid cards. So I think I want to go with the the Noxus, and you know, good sized creatures, aggressive creatures with Frostbite is also just a good combination. So I'm gonna take this. All right, um, Minotaur, another Minotaur Reckoner and a Reckless Trifarian or Brittle Steel Catalyst of Aeons. I don't think Catalyst of Aeons is very good, honestly. Or Scarthane Stefan and Trifarian Shieldbreaker. Hmm. None of these are very exciting. I guess, I think, I think we're just going to do the first one. Just get another Minotaur Reckoner, which is another, you know, another good six drop. You know, the problem is it's going to be our fourth six drop, so we need to stop taking six drops, of course. But Trifarian's a good aggressive creature. All 
All right, um, Elixir of Iron. So I, I really want to take cheaper stuff right now. Elixir of Iron is cheaper, but not very good. And this is a perfectly fine, but not nothing special, three drop. Brittle Steel is a much better one drop and a perfectly fine three drop. And then we have another perfectly fine three drop and a pretty decent two drop, but not really for our deck. And this is like the wrong... Uh, whatever thing so uh, let's take we're gonna take this one with the frostbite and then play deal one damage all right so stun an enemy and legion general whenever i'm summoned grant me that for everything that's been stunned or recalled we're not really stunning and recalling we want a frostbite whenever you cast a spell grant the top ally plus one plus one and play frostbite and enemy this is not not a bad bucket we got pack mentality give an ally and all other allies of its group plus three plus three and overwhelm this round so it says of its group i guess that means like of its region i guess that's what that would mean um it means the tribe oh like like this is a spider so that and all other spiders okay well so that's so that's that's not very good and this is the last breath draw card, which that's perfectly fine. But let's take this middle one. Two two drops. Okay. It's the creature type. Gotcha. Um, Elixir of Iron and Brittle Steel. A couple of one mana tricks. Catalyst of Aeon, which I don't think is that great. And Alpha Wildclaw. Or we get a Battlecaster and a Trifarian Hopeful. Ugh. I don't love these. Um, maybe we just take these one mana tricks. Like, Brittle Steel is pretty decent. It's not fantastic. But as you can tell, we got 10 units, two, two spells. We could probably use some more spells. That is true. Elixir does keep Ash alive. That's a good call. That's a good call. Those work well together. Okay. That's a good call. Yeah, Rhyme Fang Wolf. That card's awesome. And then Ice Veil Archer. All right, I like that. I like that one. Um, I deal double damage to the Nexus and Culling Strike. That's not bad. That's pretty good, too. Omen Hawk. Oh, I love Omen Hawk. And this thing. That's good, too. Ooh. Don't you, don't you hate when you have, like, three crappy ones that you don't really want, and then, like, the next one, all three of these would be better than the one we just took? <laughs> um, I think my favorite card out of all these is Omen Hawk. I think my my next two, fa I think my next favorite is Rhyme Fane Wolf, and the one after that is Ice Veil Archer. I, this, we should probably just take this. We should probably just take Rhyme Fane Wolf and Ice Veil Archer. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the best, you know, ratio of units to spell is. Uh, I think that you want to have more units than spell. I mean, it also kind of depends on the type of deck you're building, of course. But for, you know, like your normal, like, aggro slash mid-range kind of deck, like, that I've been playing mostly, uh, um, I've been kind of going, like, you know, six between 60 to 75% units. Probably, probably, like, closer to 75% kind of thing. Um, no, not, not, I mean, I don't think so, Hadja. Um, but just for a little while, I'm just, you know, playing this new game and, uh, really getting into it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, boss. Um, so Brittle Steel, Frostbite, an enemy health less, of course, the Stalking Wolf. Trifarian is just a good card, and then Whirling Death is an awesome removal spell. So we're probably taking this one. We got an Ice Yeti. When I'm summoned, Frostbite enemies with three or less health. That's pretty strong, but the Catalyst of Aeons is not good. I think we go with this, get this Whirling Death. Whirling Death is awesome. That's what everybody voted for, so... Um, we're not taking that first one. Legion Drummer and Guile. Ugh. Stalking Wolf and Entreat. Draw a champion. 
So two mana, we're definitely drawing Ash or, or Darius. I think we're just going to take this and get the Stalking Wolf. Um, I just don't, I don't love these other ones. Legion Drummer is perfectly fine. Like, Legion Drummer is good. I don't really like Guile, though. I guess we'd get this one. Yeah, that's what people vote for. I know, we could have had so many Catalyst of Aeons. They keep on trying to give me one. All right, we get Might and the Shield Breaker. That's good. Culling Strike and Hopeful. It's fine. Elixir of Iron. Scarthane Stefan. Meh. I kind of think that Might is a better card than Culling Strike. Honestly. Like, Culling Strike doesn't kill that much stuff. But Might, you know, upgrade something to kill something that's a lot better. I don't know. I like, I like Might. This is basically always going to be 2 mana 3 2. I guess it's not, you know, not always, always, though. But, you know, 6 5 Fearsome. We don't have any 5 drops. Hmm. This kills a lot of champions that you need removal for. Okay. That's true. Like, Teemo. Okay. Yeah. Culling Strike plus... Oh, that is true. This is really nice with Frostbite, isn't it? Because, yeah, we Frostbite stuff, and then we kill... Okay, actually, that, that is really cool. All right, fine. We'll take it. Good call. Good call. All right, well, I don't want a second entreat. Uh, I mean, Icefield Archer is a good card, but I don't want a second entreat. We have a Glory Seeker, which is also a good card, and a Drummer, which is a good card. And a Take Heart. And a Blood Swan Sworn Pledge. Both pretty good cards, too. I'm going to take the two drops. Those two drops are good. When I survive damage, create a ran random crimson unit in your hand. When I survive damage, grant me plus three, plus zero. Culling Strike, Savage Reckoner. Omen Hawk, Tell Tales. If you have a Yeti, summon that. Otherwise, create one on top of your deck. Gosh, this card is so bad. Oh, why did I have to put the worst card out of all of them in with the Omen Hawk? The best one. I just don't, you know, I don't have Yetis. I, I think I'm going to do this one here. I don't really have too much top end stuff. Savage Reckoner can be can be a good good top end card. And then, you know, we get another Culling Strike. I think I'm going to do this one. Yep, everybody voted for this. Uh, so, you know, a Sentry and a General. A Brittle Steel and a Stalking Wolf. A decisive maneuver and a legion saboteur. We don't have like very many like frostbite big stuff. Like a lot of our frostbite stuff is are just brittle steels. Like that's our frostbite stuff. And how many two drops do we need? <laughs> our whole deck is two drops. So maybe I just take this. Yeah, maybe I just take this general. Just get because you know like look at our fours and fives. Like we don't have. We just kind of take this. Because, yeah, we, that's true. We do have the double Minotaur. This would be our second century as far as stunning things. Yeah, these are not great chances. Choices. I'll try that. Might and Shunpo. Catalyst of Aeons and Stalking Wolf. Blood Sworn pl Why do they keep giving us such bad cards? Ugh. Our deck is not very good. At least we already have a six win league locked in. I mean, I guess I'm going to do this thing Might and Junpo. Yuck. Junpo could be cool with. That could be cool with Ash. 
right? Like you like frostbite like their strongest thing, then then attack with Ash. If they can't kill Ash, then you get to Shun Po and rally and get to attack again and frostbite something else. I don't know. That could be kind of cool. The best card out of all these is probably the Stalking Wolf, but we have to take that crappy card with it. Oh, okay, so this grants the allies plus zero, plus three for good, right? So this is permanent plus zero, plus three. My, everybody's voting for this last one, so my, maybe I'm underrating that. And then it does have that another Brittle Steel. How many Brittle Steels do we have right now? Only two. I guess that's true. That is a trick that just lasts forever. Okay. Okay, I could see that being good. Alright, we'll take we'll take that trick. I could see that trick being really good, especially with all of our like three twos and like these other challengers and stuff. Okay, I'm I'm willing to do that. Alright, we can trade a marksman for a wild claw. It's not a bad trade. We could trade an entreat for an elixir. Or we could trade an archer for a culling strike. All right, so we're not doing the last one. Um, thanks, Girl Making Waffles. Thank you so much. All is going well. And thanks for stopping by and saying happy birthday. So it looks like people are either voting for the first one or to skip. So I have four six drops right now. Wild Claw is a very powerful six drop. Marksman's a pretty decent three drop, but we do have a lot of threes already. I'll take it. See, yeah, the cool part about this is like you can be an aggressive deck, but you don't have to worry about like making your deck like if you want to be an aggressive deck and consistent, you have to like make your deck like you know. 20, 22 lands or whatever, because you're just going to hit your land drops. Like, we can play six drops in our aggressive deck, so we're, we know we're going to hit our land drops. All right, I don't like these cards basically at all. Oh, man, our, our deck's not good. Our deck is not too good. So I basically, I kept a sentry just to have a base, you know, a floor that we are going to have a sentry. Um, it's like, it's, you know, we had like the floor there. Couldn't get any worse than that. That's true. We are a very mid-rangey deck. It's a good, good, good call. We're not. We are a very mid-range deck. With our Steel Leaf champions. I mean, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Just not attack with my 5-4? Surprising block here. Sorry, I'm going to change something real quick. Thanks, Grief. Surprising block there, honestly. I would have guessed that they would be blocking with the Cursed Keeper and getting a 4-4. Ooh, Ash. We have the Elixir of Iron to kind of protect Ash. Hmm. All the world on one arrow. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. Target. 
Alright, we're taking six. Drummer's pretty good. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Cause we can give the Ash um quick attack with the drummer. And of course we have like this trick with the whirling death that we can do at some point. We have the elixir of iron. That can also kind of help a little bit. This is the highest cost. So we're gonna stun that. And then attack here. Noxus! And then frostbite that thing. This is a really good attack for us. I could have saved, you know, could have used the elixir and saved that creature. Um, could have saved the creature, but we're going to just let that happen. I don't know, maybe I should have saved it. They have a good attack right now because I don't have good blocks. Hey, Bertilux. Deal one to all your enemy units. That was clutch that we saved that. So if I would have used it, we would have had the other creature at one also. Done. Yep, elixir saving ash. Yeah, you called it. What's up, Marias? Yeah, you called it. We're just going to skip the block. Hey, Lord. Lord Smiggle. Where are they? Uh, I wonder if... I wonder if playing like this 3-2 is maybe just not useful. Oh, wow. Ouch. Ouch. Wow, what a turn. Wow, what an amazing turn. Well then. This glory seeker can't block. Banish the unworthy. Yep. So there's the wrath. Oh, 
Okay. Sharpen the blades. I'll just play the glory seeker now. Push back the darkness. So this is... I'm just in like a tough spot because I don't get to block. Even like with these tricks. Wait, what is this? Kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to anything. So obviously that's just going to kill me. So we... Oh, I can't, I can't target that, right? So I'm just going to die. This may not be a very good expedition. Yeah, we need a chance to swap. All right. Um, but of course, um, you know, when there's just like the Wrath of God like that, you never really uh, expect that. That's a hard one to play around for sure. So the, the first trade, Trading a century for an avalanche isn't bad. You know, avalanche, you know, we could basically get to try to set this up being a wrath effect that they don't that they won't know about. That's a pretty good trade. Hopeful for Legion Drummer is also a good trade. Legion Drummer is going to be a lot stronger of a card. Um, but they're kind of similar. You know, like they're both they're both three twos. The Legion Drummer is stronger, but I think the upside that Avalanche can have may be the reason to take it. If you look at my creatures, though, they're basically all one and two toughness. Besides that, five four, and then Ash, and then we get to like the bigger stuff. But so much, you know, three two, three two, three two, five one, two two, three two, three two, three one. So I don't know if we're like a great avalanche deck. Um, But obviously we get to set that up. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Like taking the cards that can have a big impact. Um, let's get rid of the seer. No. Keep them all. Because while, if I get rid of the, the starlet seer, it, you know, I have this for a two drop, but this isn't really a two mana card that you want to play on turn two. Cause this, you can really think of this like for magic players. You can really think of this as this card's more like like lava coil, or like if you played roast before, you know, two man deal five damage. Like you you want that just to be a, a removal spell. Hmm, it does work better with me having frostbite. Frostbite does make it better. Let's play this thing though. So it's not necessarily, like, this isn't really something I want to tussle with, like, the smaller creatures. I want them to play, you know, like, their, their champions and stuff, and then play this and get rid of their champions. They trade in. Uh, 
<clears throat> so if I, you know how this says, if I strike a unit with zero power, I kill it. If I, if I turn its power into zero, does that mean it still strikes? It just strikes for zero? Is that how that works? Like, would, would it still kill it if they frostbite my thing? No, frostbite prevents striking. Okay. Good to know. So they don't actually strike here. I get the uh, the bonus of my top thing top creature getting plus one plus one. Yeah, I, I still had I had Ash protected. That's a good thing to have plus one plus one. But I just wanted to go straight to attacks. Hmm. Yep, Ash going to jail. Got detained. So we gotta gotta get rid of their wolf. That's a good way to get rid of a wolf. Culling strike. This game's working out pretty well for us. That was pretty nice. So can they go to 11 mana gems with that, since they have that other card? Okay, it's still capped at 10. Man, that, that card's really not that great. We're not playing against the people that have the wrath, so we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, that is that is scary. <laughs> A little Heimerdinger. This is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. Summoning the one one is was kind of an upside for them because yeah, it just it make makes me have that one one in play. So that's a two mana spell. Frostbites, which means they get they get a two one tough for free. So they can play that now. Every time you haven't seen Heimerdinger, every time it plays a spell, um 
if you play, you get one of these things depending on, on the mana cost. If it costs zero, one, two, or so on. People like the three one the most because it's a you get a free three one elusive. Surrendered. Okay, we at least got a win. With our expedition. It's respectable. We got a win. All right, so we get to add another champion. So we get a second Ash. It's probably where we're going. We got Shatter and Wild Claw to go along with it. Those aren't the best. What if we go this Trindamir? Go Trindamir and get Battle Fury. Trindamir is very powerful. I don't have that. Like, I just don't have like that much frost stuff. Honestly, I have like some, but not like a ton. So shatter is deal four to an enemy, otherwise frostbite it. So it's it's a slow frostbite, which at being slow speed is pretty rough. I kind of think this suit up. What do y'all think? Votes are basically split across the board. Yeah, the shatter being slow speed makes it not so good. Because otherwise it would be amazing, you know, being fast speed, being two mana frostbite. It would be better than the card that's the three mana frostbite. Yeah, if you haven't, if you're watching, you haven't, haven't voted, click, you know, vote what you think. Votes are pretty even across the board. Hmm. I'd say Ash is probably the card that we want the most. I don't know. Trindamir can win games. I th let's go. Let's go this last column. Let's do it. Let's get these things that can just steal games. Our deck isn't very good. We need things that can steal games. I'm playing some Legends of Runeterra for now, Logos. Yeah, Trindamir is a great win con. Trindamir can win a lot of games. Uh, gonna replace this, replace this. Uh, this is not really that great of a play right now anyway. Let's just replace all this stuff. Because it's an 8-4 trample, if it dies, level up and it's dead, and then it turns into a 9-9. Uh, trample. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So they're just straight up Demacia. Lucian and Elite. Lucian and uh, Garen. So they're probably just, you know, all Elites. I think that the, the straight up Demacia deck is actually pretty good. Warchefs. Give my supported ally plus one plus one this round. Head to the face. No one goes hungry. Hello, Miss Abby. Hello, Miss Abby. I keep step with the heartbeat of Noxus. So drummer plus stalking wolf's a good combo. This was a great draw, this Brittle Steel to protect the drummer. So they're going to try to battle him. 
We'll just frostbite it. Get a two for one. And now get a one for zero. So we just got a three for one total. We got both of their creatures and their spell basically for our spell. Perfect. We tell them you have to block Stalking Wolf and we're gonna give Stalking Wolf quick attack. Well, downside is this avalanche isn't something that we're gonna to wanna to play at all anymore. But the good side is, the upside is that, you know, we're ahead right now. Bunny getting swole. <laughs> hmm. This is a tough turn. If I you know, naturally, you know, like we would play this frostbite stuff, but then the more I play, then they can play other five drop, you know, like they can drop like Garen or something. Cut him down. That's a tough turn. I mean, it's not really a free kill on the rabbit because if I if I try to, if I do this thing and and kill the rabbit, then the four four just blocks my three two, so I'd be trading, I'd be trading the drummer for the rabbit. And I don't think that's a good trade. Today we turn the tide of war. I want to use mana. Don't have a good play. Well, wow, maybe I should just play this archer first. That was it. The turn before was very good for us. This turn was very good for them. That was a, you know, that was just a good turn for them. If I would have just attacked out, how it, how it ended up, what well, probably would have happened if I would have just attacked out, you know, maybe we turn that thing into a smaller creature. Maybe our avalanche would be, would have been better. I don't know. We fight for those who cannot. Yeah, there's Garen. Try to kill the Garen. That's fine. That's all fine. Yeah, we can play it. <laughs> yeah, that rabbit was out for revenge. I 
that brittle steel is not going to be, you know, it's only three or less health. So it's not frostbiting this. 5-4, we're just going to clean up these two. Like, they're going to be able to use their 5-4 to kill one of my things. Oh, they're just going to give that a barrier. It's fine. Well, pretty close game. You know, 17-15, both have two creatures, two spells. Their creatures are a little better just because they have this 5-4. Side side, that thing's good. For the thrill. But now I got Trindomir, so now I got the, the best thing out there. Go ahead, no, take take the Trindomir. Um Little one four. Yeah, just just change it, change it in a different game, MC. To this game is honestly very well put together. No, I'm just taking taking a break from Arena to play this game. I was hoping that they would do the put the tough creature in front, but I guess it wouldn't really make sense to put the tough creature in front. Mm. I was hoping to be able to kill that with the with the other thing with the. Uh, with the avalanche, the pyroclasm. Well, I'm kind of just relying on Trindomir. I don't have a whole lot besides that. Where you go, I go. In formation. Yeah, it's not the worst strat strategy, that's true. That's only only does one damage to these things because they're tough. Still reduces that toughness a little bit. All right, Garage. Thanks for stopping by. When I'm summoned, grant me plus two plus zero if you have another noxious ally, which I don't right now. A true I will in a little bit. Will. Frostbite that thing so they can't just block and kill Trindomir. 
I guess that thing now gets to block and kill Trindamir. So we'll stun that. And now this will be a 5 2. For the Empire. Oh, right, they just can't even block Trindamir at all. Because Trigamir is fearsome, they have to have a creature power 3 or greater to block, but their creature power 3 or greater is stunned. So they have to just block out. Cool. So we'll trade two, two of our creatures for three of theirs. And do nine damage to them, put them down to one. And they're going to... We'll still have the 9-2... The with Trample, and they'll have the 3-6. Oh, and we have the 3-2 still, too. Right. Okay. Oh, wow. Another champion, Darius. They surrendered. All right, we got two wins. Good close win there. Good close win. All right, we can do a swap. We can trade that Avalanche for a Take Heart. Take Heart's a good card. The ally has to be damaged, which that's kind of the hard part, is you have to have an ally that has a little bit of damage on it. But, you know, it's plus three, plus three for good. You know, it's giant growth, like always giant growth. How many culling strikes do we have? We have two culling strikes. Hmm. Babbling Ber Berg, that's not bad either. Because Babbling Berg, you know, it is, it is a four mana, three, three draw card. You know, it's just draw a unit with five plus power. So it's like, does that mean it's like from our deck? So a unit with five plus power from our deck? Or is that, it's not just like a random thing with five plus power, right? Because if it's from our deck, yeah, so it's from our deck. So it has to be, oh, I guess it could be, <clears throat> could be the Trifarians, could be the Glory Seeker, but then, you know, it could be Ash, could be Darius, could be Wildclaw, or Minotaur Reckonar. Hmm. Or the Savage Reckonor or Trindamir. That's pretty that's pretty enticing. Elixir of Iron does, you know, protect for one mana. It's a Y sound Bjerg. Babbling Bjerg. Um Let's do it. Let's get the Babbling Bjerg. We got some good creatures to draw with that. Get the card advantage. So four mana, three, three, that always draws a good creature. Yeah, I do kind of miss that. I do kind of already miss that that trick, that one mana trick, especially because I don't really have one drops, and so I'd have like the one mana, the one spell mana, basically all the time. This card's good. This Yeti Yearling. It's a good card. Yeah, I could see that coming back to haunt me. Throwing away that potion.
Bitter Melons with a happy birthday. Thank you, Bitter Melons. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Um, I'll do that trade. I'll get rid of the elusive for my 3 2. We got, you know, other challengers and everything. I'll just get rid of that elusive creature. Put a spring in your step and stars in your eyes. Victory requires a sharp blade. Frostbite. A chill in the air. I hope they play something else that's really good. I hope they play like a good creature to kill. Yeah, they didn't. I'll cut them apart. Chase them down. Face me. Oh, thank you, Yud. I forgot about that. Thank you. All right, thumbnail. Expedition. Uh, what are they doing? Two damage to anything? Okay. Oh, thanks, Marias. Thank you. All right, get our six six out here. All right, thumbnail now up on YouTube. Good. With the YouTube videos, if y'all, if y'all don't, if you, if you hit the like button on them, I'd really appreciate it. Um, so I know a lot of my audience, you know, of course was, you know, or is not was, but is, you know, magic players and not everybody really likes the Legends of Rune Terror, so they get a, a lot of thumbs downs and if it, if it doesn't have a very good thumb up to thumb down ratio they won't um recommend it, it to other people so the more things that we stun the bigger this legion general is going to be later of course, the Minotaur stuns something every single turn. Drink up. This back alley barkeep's pretty sweet. Two 
I was saying if they played something better, I, I would have frost bit it, which maybe I still should have done. I said room for two more stuff. What's the deal with this block? They have like a three damage thing that they're going to be doing. Bar keeps insane with the reanimator stuff Shadow Isles can do. That does sound pretty sweet. Maybe that's a deck we need to build. There's Teemo. Get out of here. Good thing I saved this removal spell. Thanks, Marais. Yeah, I would appreciate that. Soul Farmer. Thanks for the happy birthday. Gotta get that Teemo out of there. I already got 20 puff caps. I don't need any more. Well, now I got 18. So now I have less. A little adjustment for a lot of pow. This thing's a 7-7 seven, seven now. Mino's gonna get Mystic Shot. Oh, the Minotaur, the Minotaur, they're gonna Mystic Shot it. They haven't yet. That was a great draw. Cause yeah, it looks like they were probably gonna do some kind of damage thing. So that's that's a great draw. Um. Hey, Zoe Jr. Excuse you. Yeah, I mean, this block seems fine to me. Have a mushroom. Have Do they just not have a damage thing? Yeah, basically, <laughs> deal five damage to the unit. It doesn't kill it. Basically, Legends of Terror is just a really, really well put together game, and you know it's just brand new, and and it's just it's really it's really fun to play and everything, and I kind of want to. Try kind of getting in on the ground floor and stuff and and everything. It's just a, it's an awesome game. So what is this? Attack do two to all enemies. That doesn't seem great to me, or great for me. Sorry.
So this turns into an egg. Level up, start of the round. If you're enlightened, transform me. Which they will be. Oh, oh, you're right. Oh, I could have blocked with the three twos. Oh, because they were just going to die. Ugh. Yeah, that could have saved me a lot of damage. Yeah, you're right. Definitely could have blocked there. Oh no, and now I'm dead to the puff caps. That's a good call, Rex. I, sh I should. I should definitely do that. Uh, died to the puff caps. This game's tough. All right, so we can trade the avalanche away for an entreat. Meh. Trade Legion Drummer for Icy, Icy Yeti. I don't know. I have a kind of a big top end already. Or an, or an Archer for a Reckoner. Hmm. I don't think I'd do any of these. Yeah, just skip this. You love Icy Yeti? Can do, it can do a lot of Frostbite. All right, let's do it. I'm. I just. I don't think our deck is that great, so I'm. I'm willing to try new things with this. With this one. Yeah, I haven't played Icy Yeti before. So let's give it a try. I'll keep it. All right, so we'll see how that, that does. You know, they have the five cards in hand that they're all reduced in mana by one now. At least however many of them are allies in hand are reduced in mana by one. So they could play a four drop. Oh, that was only a one drop. Another one drop. Don't get in my way. Wow. All right, that's pretty good. Frostbite. <clears throat> Let's kill that seven two. And then also just kill Lu Oh wait, we're not trading with Lucian anymore though, right, because Lucian is all Quick strike. Oh, I probably should have. I right, probably could have done that better. But we're still good. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. We'll still kill Lucian. It shall rain ash in our wake. Hmm. That card actually was pretty good for them. They four of their five things were creatures in hand that they reduced all these costs for. What do I want to kill? Probably got to kill this 6-5, right? I don't know. Lucian's kind of broken. A 
true Fragnorian welcome. Like if I if I would have done the six five in front, then I could attack with the three one also. Ouch. Protect the villages. <clears throat> Let's try to kill all these things. I wish I had one more man and I could play this Trifarian. Basically just trading, dealing five to them. Oh no. I don't like this. I don't like that at all. Smell that? A fight to cook it. I don't like that one bit. Man, great. Wow, what a draw! Can't fight on an empty Wait, stomach. no, because I can't. I can't block. No, this doesn't save me. Yeah, they drew. They drew really, really well. Yeah, they they really did. That was that was an awesome game. That was an awesome game. Yeah, I could frostbite the five two. I'm still taking lethal because this thing tramples. It's like this is doing four trample damage and six. I can at least make him scared. All right, well, that was our worst expedition ever. We tried to go Frostbite, but we did not get the Frostbite cards. Like, we did not get good good stuff with that. But we got, so we still got six wins. We got a champion card, a golden chest, 1,500 shards. <clears throat> not bad. Yeah, six wins is still good. Let's see what we got. So the golden chest gives us... Three commons, 15 shards for the other one, and a rare. Not the best chest. That's not, yeah, not the best chest, but. All right, so our champion was a Vladimir. Bleh. Are there any good Vladimir decks? That's my second Vladimir. Vlad Brom. I have a Brom, or maybe even two Broms. Um, but there we go. So there's our other expedition. So we're gonna go play some ranked now. Um, the curator just got buffed. Um, 
Ooh, Vlad with toughness stuff. That that's actually pretty appealing. Like the tough, the elites that are tough with Vladimir. I could see that being pretty good. All right, so that was our second expedition. So we tried we tried going frostbite, but the buckets that they gave us did not really have much frostbite with them, and it just didn't quite work out. Um, but there we go. All right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, you know what to do. Hit that like button over there. I'd appreciate it. And also, of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know like what you're playing in Constructed also. I need those Constructed deck lists. But um, there we go. That's what we're going to move to now for the the rest of our stream. We're going to go play some different decks. All right, so thank you so much for watching some uh, expeditions, though, and I'll see you for the next video.